welcome back to my channel. I am very excited to film this video today because if you can see in the background there are some very exciting packages that I can't wait to share with you. I might have done a little spending spree at Saint Laurent and Chanel. Um, it was very expensive but don't worry it was all money that I saved up myself and it was all like babysitting money, doing favours for people money, birthday money because it was my 21st recently and one of them is actually a birthday present so don't judge me too much um, but I, I'm really excited to share these things with you so let's get into the video. The first item I'm going to show you comes in this very beautiful box. It is from Chanel. Now there's a little story behind this purchase actually. I went to Harrods to try and buy some Miu Miu sunglasses um, and I was trying them all on and I literally I, I was like trying to choose between these last two and they're the, the really famous Miu Miu ones like the ones with the cut off lenses and the hexagonal shaped ones or like the hexagonal cat eye shaped ones I'm sure you know the ones I mean um, and I was trying to choose between them two and then I stumbled across the Chanel, Chanel section and I spotted these sunglasses and that was it. I had to have these and they were literally the same price as the Miu Miu ones and I thought to myself, do I get the Miu Miu ones that are quite out there and quite, um, let's say, not always going to be in fashion or do I get these Chanel ones and when I show you you'll understand why because these ones will never go out of style. So let's open up the box. I've kept everything in the packaging so that you can kind of see how it comes or how it's presented when you buy stuff. So this is the glasses case that the sh sunglasses come in and it's like the classic quilted um, leather. It looks like a really baby 2.55 handbag. And then in the corner is like a tiny little Chanel stud, the CC logo. And when you open it up, you have the sunglasses. Now these are the glasses that I purchased. They are the black lensed aviators with the silver frames and in the, at the sides they have the um, double CC monogram on both sides of the lens. The arms have the word Chanel on the side and then the earpieces are leather. So they are absolutely stunning. Should I try them on? I feel like I should try them on just so that you can get an idea of like how big they are. They fit my face so nicely and I just feel like aviators are so classic and they're never going to go out of style and you just can't go wrong with a pair of aviators and I know that they're a lot of money but I feel like I'm going to have these for such a long time and they were just worth every penny to me so I'm so happy that I was able to get these. Next up is a tiny little box from Saint Laurent. Um, for those, I'm sure most of you know, but this is the Yves Saint Laurent brand, but they've just changed their name to Saint Laurent, but they did this like two, three years ago now. Um, but not everyone knows, like I was telling people that I got some Saint Laurent stuff and they were like, oh, I've never heard of that. And I was like, Yves Saint Laurent. And they were like, oh, of course. Um, so yeah, if you didn't know, they've changed the brand name to just Saint Laurent but the makeup line is still YSL. Anyway, um, moving on, this was a present from my parents for my 21st birthday and I'll just get it out of the box for you. So it comes in this little dust bag, everything comes in a dust bag um, which is just a really nice touch and it's good for travelling as well. And it's just this, it's going to be hard to show you here but I'm going to film like a little clip so that you can see exactly what it is. Um, it's this ring by Saint Laurent and it's just the YSL monogram basically wrapped around my finger. Um, I actually found it quite hard to get my hands on this and although every Saint Laurent store and concession does sell this ring, the size that I am, number 5, is very hard to get hold of because it's the most popular size. Uh, I went to Harrods and they didn't have size 5 and then I ended up getting this in Selfridges but you can also go to the Saint Laurent store, that's probably the easiest way to get it because they stock way more um, sizes and stuff so it's probably easiest to get it at the actual store 
but if you're around Harrods or Selfridges give it a go because they might actually have the size but this was a present from my mum and dad for my 21st birthday so this is very special to me and I didn't actually plan for them to get this I mean I asked for it but I didn't they bought me my Reading tickets basically and um, mum was like I really want to get you something that you can keep forever and like have as your 21st birthday present and not as an experience like Reading was so I asked for this and um, they managed to get it for me so I feel very very lucky to be able to wear this on my finger I'll quickly show you actually I normally wear it on this side so I wear it this way round so that you can see like the beginning of the Y and the S and then the L's round the back because that's probably like the least um, detailed side but I just love it and it's beautiful. <laughs> okay the next item is also by Saint Laurent and this little item is the reason that it's taken me a good three weeks to actually be able to film this video because this was the last thing that I was waiting for and I didn't get this in store I ordered this online from the Saint Laurent website so um, this is why it's actually taken me so long to film this video and if I open it up as usual it comes in a dust bag and it is still got the tag on it and everything I only got it today it is this gorgeous leather card holder now I'll tell you why I got this because the package in the back is the reason why I had to get this but um, it's just this gorgeous faux croc leather card holder and the reason why I got this one is because it has five card slots which was the most out of any designer card holder I could find most of them had either two or four and the ones that did have five did not have the coin pouch option on top so I ended up going with this one because I really only carry like five cards with me anyway and I very very rarely have cash but when I do I thought this would be good because it comes with the little zip in the top and you can fit a bit of cash in there or any receipts or even extra cards if you have more than five so that is really handy and you'll understand why I got it when I show you the next item because the next item is a handbag now this literally <laughs> drove me insane trying to get this handbag um, basically when was it about about maybe three three four weeks ago now I went to Harrods and it was when I got the sunglasses and the ring and I went to put a reserve on this handbag now at the time they only had one left and it was the one that had been on the shelf so I didn't particularly want that one plus I was coming back to Harrods in two weeks time and that's when I wanted to get the bag so I said um, call me when you've got stock of it and I'll put a reserve on it anyway I did that then two weeks later I went to Harrods and they had reserved the wrong bag it was actually it was a bag very similar but it was in the medium size when this is in the small size plus it was actually a different bag but it was just similar um, so that was a bit of a mess up on their part and they didn't have this one in stock after all that so I was a bit annoyed because we had gone all the way up there but then I phoned the Sloan Street store which is just around the back from Harrods and they said that they had one more left in stock so I literally ran there and the guy had already put a reserve on it even though I was literally there within two minutes of hanging up the phone and he had it for me already and I was very very happy so let's open it up so of course it comes in a dust bag just like if anything that's leather just because it protects it and keeps any like um, bright lights like sunlight is really bad for leather so and any dust off it of course and then inside is the handbag now this is the Boz mini leather bucket bag I think that's the full name um, and this is in the faux croc um, leather so that's why I bought that little card holder to match it and basically it's just I the reason why I got this bag was because I have my Marc Jacobs one that I use all the time I have my Osprey of London one which is really big 
my mug makers one is like medium and then I needed like a little small one just for evenings and stuff or just popping out so this was kind of perfect and I had been researching for months and I was thinking of getting a Louis Vuitton one and I also looked at Prada but this one I literally it stole my heart as soon as I saw it and I thought it was so gorgeous and it it's not like I impulse buy bought this, I researched it and I saw it in the flesh like twice before I actually bought it. So if you're thinking of buying a handbag that is very expensive and is an investment, then it's probably best to do your research, really look it up, go and see it in person and see if it's really what you want because it's a lot of money to spend on something that you're not going to have a very long time if you don't like it. So yes, I bought this and... It's basically just a drawstring bucket bag. Um, on the front it says Saint Laurent Paris and down on the tassel it has the wire cell monogram and then a little leather tassel at the end which I think is a really nice touch. Uh, fun fact, Kendall Jenner actually has this handbag as well. She doesn't have it in the croc, she has it in the plain leather but there's a little fact for you. Um, it actually, it's got some stuff inside because I have used it. But inside it's actually quite large and you can get everything that you need for a night out in here. I can get my phone in here, my card holder in here. I actually had a little wallet before my card holder came which fitted fine. Um, my phone, a bit of makeup, some tissues, a lip gloss, whatever. You can fit it all inside and it's great because it's adjust adjustable how um, much you want to close it up. Also my sunglasses fit in here but I put them in the bag that they come with rather than the hard case because that is a bit big. But apart from that, it's fantastic, and I love the handle. It's like um, got this very weighty chain detail at the bottom, and then it goes into a leather strap, which I feel is quite nice. And it, the reason why I like this chain being attached to the bag is it makes it quite flexible. Sometimes when it's leather all the way down to the bag, you have to like it gets twisted sometimes when the bag's moving. So the it being chains, it makes it quite flexible, and the bag can move about on your body a little bit more easily. Um, as you're walking along so this is like my pride and joy at the moment my little baby and I absolutely love it and it was worth every penny I just wanted to add one more thing into this haul and um, technically this isn't designer but I'd been wanting these for a really long time and they were not expensive but they were quite expensive for shoes um, and it's these Adidas Stan Smiths now I have been wanting these for such a long time and again there's a little story to these. I was literally on the edge of impulse buying these when I first saw them. And these are the navy ones by the way, not the fairway green ones. You can get them in lots of different designs though. There's like a floor one and a snake print one. The snake print one's quite nice. Um, anyway, I was on the edge of like impulse buying these shoes. Phone's ringing. Oh, it stopped. I was on the edge of impulse buying these shoes but I've got this new thing at the moment where if I feel like I'm going to impulse buy something I don't buy it. I walk straight out of the store and if I think about it for the next two weeks then it's probably worth buying. If I can come up with at least five outfits that it will go with then it's worth buying. If I cannot then I do not let myself buy it. That is my new rule. So I first saw these, I really wanted to buy them. I told myself, no, no, it mustn't do that. So I waited two weeks and I thought of over five outfits I could wear them with. And I still really wanted them and I had the money to get them so I got them and I'm very, very happy. And do you know what? They are just so comfortable and they go with so many outfits and I just love that sort of sport luck style at the moment. So I just wanted to throw these in there because they're like a new purchase and I'm really loving them. I know they're not designer but... I thought I might as well just add them to the haul because I don't know where my next haul is going to be. There's literally so much hair in my face right now. <sighs> so yeah, Adidas Stan Smiths in the Navy. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. I really hope you like it. If you did, click the like button. That will really help me out. And also subscribe if you haven't already for more videos upcoming. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!